This is our new wood stove, which we had installed a couple of months ago. And in this video, I'm gonna be testing out just how much air pollution this thing creates in the room where it's installed. I'll also explain the costs associated with an installation like this in the UK and a few other things too. First though, why did we get a wood stove installed? It wasn't an easy decision for us actually, mainly for environmental reasons. Some people will tell you that they're a terrible thing for the environment in terms of pollution, while others will say that when using the right type of fuel, a modern wood stove is perfectly fine. And I suspect, as is often the case, the truth lies somewhere in between. Obviously we don't want to be creating pollution, but in the UK with the price of energy rapidly spiraling out of control and the government doing very little to encourage people to do all of the responsible easy wins, like either incentivizing or subsidizing to make the cost of insulating homes properly more easy, for example, I'm sure that more and more people are going to be looking at other options to keep warm, like a wood burning stove. And obviously as a woodworker, I have a constant supply of dry firewood at my disposal, which in the past I've been giving away to others to burn. So for us, it just makes sense, particularly because we don't even have a gas supply where we live. So we rely on oil, which to be honest was expensive even before the recent price hikes. So how much does it cost to get a wood stove installed? Installations in the UK need to either be completed or signed off by a registered HITAS engineer. And while I was tempted to try and tackle an installation of a wood stove myself and then get it signed off by a HITAS engineer, in the end, I decided that some jobs are just best left to the professionals. Our installers did a very tidy job and it was completed in less than half a day. But obviously that may vary depending on the property and any complications that may arise. We live in a bungalow, by the way, which I understand makes things a little simpler in terms of installation. The installation involved putting in a black glass 12 mm quadrant hearth, the burner itself, and a twin wall flue, which goes up through the ceiling, through the loft, and through the roof, with a lead capping piece mortared in to keep things watertight, and then a bird guard cowl on top, plus obviously the heat ass sign off with the local council. For the burner, we went with one of the installer's recommendations for a room of this size, which by the way measures 3.5 by 5.8 meters. So it's a pretty big long room and a five kilowatt burner was recommended. We were given a few options, but we ended up choosing the Ecozy Plus Hampton 5 and the stove itself was 649 pounds at the time of ordering. Then there was an additional cost of 800 pounds for other materials to complete the work and the installation and registration, which was 900 pounds. Add on 180 pounds in VAT, and the total bill came to 2,529 pounds, which based on what I've heard others pay, is a pretty normal price in our local area. Finally, I want to talk about air pollution indoors, as in within the room where the wood stove is. I read several articles prior to getting ours installed, some of which state that wood stoves can triple the amount of harmful particles in the air that we breathe, within our homes. Now, because I have one of these workshop air quality monitors, which normally I use for measuring dust particles in the air in my workshop to determine whether I need to put on a respirator or not, I thought it'd be interesting to bring it into the house to see what kind of readings I would get. And the results were really surprising. Right, so first I took several readings on days when the wood stove was not in use, and it's the PM 2.5 readings that I was particularly interested in, because as I understand it, that size category of particles are the ones that cause the most harm because they get into the deep part of your lungs or even in your blood. I've been told that particles that are smaller than that tend to pass through your system. So I was getting readings ranging between five and nine micrograms per cubic meter. So let's just say for the sake of this video, an average reading of seven which as you'll see from the scale on the bottom of the monitor is in the green range and therefore is considered perfectly safe. In the workshop, when this number hits between 50 and 100, i.e. yellow, or 100 to 150, which is orange, or occasionally even 150 to 200, which is red, I'll be putting on a respirator as quickly as possible because I don't want to be breathing that in. Now this is where it gets interesting. The very first time we used our wood stove, the readings that we were getting started low but kept growing and growing and growing to a point where I've never seen readings so high. The reading peaked at around 300, which as you'll see on the screen is classed as severely polluted. Now I did wonder if this extremely high reading was due to it being the first burn. And in the manual that came with the wood stove, it states, it is essential to follow these tempering in instructions in order to avoid serious damage to your stove, blah, blah, blah. The paint finish also requires an initial curing process to be followed, blah, blah, blah. 
And it goes on to say that basically you need to start by having very gentle burns increasing each time, basically building up to having a normal full on fire. And we obviously followed these instructions as best we could. I've also read elsewhere that there can also be some chemical residue from the manufacturing process on its surface and that slight odors can occur. And we could definitely smell an odor on our first use. Although to be honest, I was trying hard not to breathe in with the reading on the monitor being so incredibly high. So I can only assume that either maybe paint or glue curing or chemical residue is what caused that exceptionally high reading. With the second and third burns that we had, we had a similar experience, surprisingly high readings. It was only when we had our fourth and fifth burns that we started to see the kind of readings that we were expecting, which genuinely were approximately three times the amount of air particles that you'd have when not using the stove, just like some of those news articles stated. With our normal average reading being around seven, we were typically seeing readings of between 20 and 30, but not often more than that, unless you obviously leave the door open while you're refueling for a longer period of time. Now, 20 to 30 is still safely within the green area on the monitor scale so as far as I'm concerned yes it does create pollution indoors but in my opinion those levels aren't high enough to be a major concern. I queried the results that I saw on the air quality monitor with the company that supplied our stove and they said the following in general terms the PM output into the room will be dictated by the chimney's draw. If the chimney is not drawing at the required 12 pascals smoke can be kicked back into the room. To reduce smoke puffing back into the room, you want to ensure that the chimney is getting hot as quickly as possible, as a warm chimney is better at drawing the smoke up. Now, in my opinion, that advice conflicts a bit with the information in the manual about having gentle burns first. But anyway, it continues. For the first few burns, the stove will be curing and this produces a chemical smell from both the stove and flue. I would assume this would also be contributing towards that reading that you were receiving. So what have we learned? Well, if you just had a wood stove installed for the first few burns, I'd recommend being very careful to try not to breathe in the air in the room where it's located. Obviously, you probably won't want to leave the stove unattended, but I'd recommend keeping a distance from it as much as possible. And also, I'd definitely recommend opening up all of your windows to get as much airflow through the room as possible. Obviously, I'm no expert on these things. Do your own research, but I thought I should share my experiences with you in case a wood stove is something that you are considering. Now that we have a wood stove, I have to say I am completely in love with it. It heats the room up quickly. It makes the room feel nice and cozy. And I also really enjoy the process of making a fire and putting extra wood on to keep it going. To me, it's a bit like putting a record on rather than streaming music to a speaker. It takes a little bit of extra effort, but it's so worthwhile. So no regrets from my perspective. I'm starting to get really hot sitting here now, so I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching.